Hello everyone, I'm Pam. Welcome back to my channel. In this channel, I'll share things about data analytics, job tips, and how to work more efficiently. I wasn't majoring in data science or statistics, but I was still able to be a data analyst three months after graduation. Even so, my career path doesn't apply to everyone. I've combined my previous experience as well as recruiter's opinion. In this video, I'll explain why it is possible to become a data analyst with no previous experience. And furthermore, I'll share actionable steps including how to find your target position, interview, portfolio tips, etc. So let's get started. Back to the days when I was working in the media and publishing company, colleagues working with me were completely new to the industry. Some of them are in their 30s, some 20s. Here are some points we discussed over why we could all get into the industry without previous experience. Firstly, data is still a new subject. Universities started offering data-related courses in recent years. Some exciting news for you first. The compound annual growth rate of the data industry is 11% each year. And to give you an idea of just how big the data market is, it's estimated that the market is projected to grow from 162 billion US dollars in 2021 to 273 billion US dollars in 2026. When the industry is growing so fast right now, the graduates each year is not able to fulfill the huge market demand. On the other hand, machine learning and artificial intelligence require a huge amount of data. These two fields are leading to a sharp increase in data size in general. On top of that, the pandemic has speeded up the digital transformation, making data-driven business decisions even more important. So actually, the social and economic environment right now is giving a lower threshold for people to join the data industry. When it comes to getting a job in the field, I always follow TIPS framework whenever I'm searching for a new analyst job. It stands for Target, Interview, Portfolio, and Star. Some people may suggest apply as many jobs as possible to get more chances, but that comes with the cost of draining out yourself from interviews and losing your passion in finding a best match. I would suggest to target two to three jobs. Make a list on what soft and hard skills you've already acquired. Say qualification certified by authority, your degree, etc. And then, search for some jobs that you are interested in. Highlight the preferred ability that position needs, and match your ability and qualification with the preferred ability one by one to see how big your odds are in this job. For those who are searching for a data analyst job right now, fintech, media, healthcare, retail, automotives, and business intelligence are the most sought-after industry with high demand of talent right now. I know it's always intimidating and stressful attending a job interview, and that's how I feel also. You can always prepare systematically. With advanced preparation, you can get through your data analyst interview without any stress. Try to prepare whatever questions you can. For me, I lock down the every single questions I remember right after the interview. So in the long run, I'll have created an interview database and prepare whenever I need. Prepare for how to explain your past job experiences. The interviewers will be interested in your ability to explain the data extraction in a layman way. Think and recall the data projects and courses you did. Read the projects again so you recall the data analysis methodology. Especially when with no experiences, we need to memorize the flow of running an analysis in order to show our practical experience. Generally, there are two types of interview questions. One type is about your personality and another one is about the technical experiences. For personality, they will test your ability to think analytically and logically, to share tenacity, to work in teams, and individually. For technical experience, they will ask questions about the toolkit or programming languages you use, the most challenging projects for you to solve problems, and some scenario questions. What could you bring to the table? This is a question I got asked every time in an interview. Rather than my willingness to learn, I prefer highlighting my business value to the company itself. The point to prepare for your interview is to do it in structure and highlight your absolute advantage during the interview. A portfolio is an important factor to showcase your ability. It's the only way to differentiate you from others with your professionalism. 
Again, when applying for a data analyst job, I always provide the projects reflecting my own skills and also match the job description. Back then, when I was trying to get my first job as a data analyst, I attached some project websites in the corner of my CV. My ex-manager saw it and did visit my website. When we were having an interview, he asked me some questions like how do you create your website, how did you manage your content, how do you make your articles popular. The fact that I was able to make a data visualization website and how I answered his question clearly did impress him a lot. Of course, in different industry, the easiest way to add value is that you have practical experience working in that field before. For example, if you're interested in financial analyst, you should have a great portfolio of stocks. The last point is to star your exceptional experiences. It's interrelated to interview skills and portfolio, but the reason I separate it as an individual point is that many people have missed out thinking about the exceptional skills they have. Think about your experience totally irrelevant to data analysis. Maybe the days when you were experimenting inside a chemistry lab, or when you are selling a seasonal package to your clients in the shopping mall. Nowadays, companies treasure those candidates who have experiences outside data analysis, especially in businesses, because the value to the company is more unique and valuable. I'll say there will be some preparation for sure, but that's definitely possible to get a data analyst job without previous experience. If you like what I've covered in this video, definitely hit the like and subscribe button. Comment down below about which industry you're in and your experience in searching for a data analyst job. Click here to watch my next video, and I'll see you in the next one.